you too like woman. The thing that sticks out in this music, you know, the uniqueness of one sound. <laughs> yeah, I'm messing up. I'm just joking. So I did this. You understand? So as obviously it sounds similar. Now I try now. Clap. Clap for me. If you don't clap for me, I'll not show you how I did this thing now. I will not show you. You you. I better wear my toothpick there, Jerry. I just chop so yeah, I finish now. This song, you know, Rema, woman, you too like woman, I too like woman. I love one woman. <laughs> Intimate love. You understand? Chiamax world. The thing that sticks out in this beat, in this music, you know, the uniqueness of one sound. Apart from the piano, you know, that arose from the beginning all the way to the end, you know, and there's a bass note of that piano as well. You understand? There is this sound, so which caught my attention. I'm sure a lot of music producers as well. You too like woman, me I only like one woman, but you too like woman. So basically, look at my screen, man. So how did how did we achieve this? How did we achieve this? So let me, you know, bypass every effect that is on this channel, every boss, boss brain. So as you can see now, this is the voice I did. I can basically do this same voice again, Seth, so that you know that I did not hire any person to do it. <clears throat> I mean, so, 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 so. I'm messing up, I'm just joking. So, we have that now, eh? You understand? So, let me just cycle it, you know, put it on the loop mode. And so, we start with the, I started with the um, pitch correction, major D, you know, let's bypass that. You understand? So, EQ as well, you understand? You know, I roll off the low end, 148, you understand? You can see it's, you know, drastically rolled off, you know, a little bit of the eye and the, um, and the mid, you understand, here on the EQ. You understand, we are getting there. So, compression now, you understand. There is a de default compressor, you know, preset settings in Logic Pro, which is the rap vocal compressor. <laughs> Same, another EQ again, because I noticed that the voice is kind of like, you know, a lower octave. So, another EQ again. <laughs> You understand so this is actually this is the key to everything now this thing this vocal transformer this is actually the main kick uh, the main source <laughs> to everything you understand so when you get it now simple you just drop the format to minus six it's going to you know give it that sort of like a robotic effect you know the you know the vocal transformer is going to give it sort of like sort of like that robotic effect you understand using the minus six you know, on the format um, parameter, you get. You don't do anything with the pitch, you understand? Just leave, leave the pitch as zero. So, reverb now, <clears throat> you can see in their own now, the thing has, you know, sort of like a freshness to it, you know. Let's listen. I know there's an effect, you know, that is sort of, sort of like a pumping effect because you can see the thing is it's like it's coming and it's going, it's coming and it's going. You understand? There is a wave plugin called Pumper or something. It will be doing like it's, um, is it side chaining? Yeah, you understand? But I don't have that here, but we are close to what they 
ad, you understand? Boss Brain, no lie. I try for this thing. Comment on this video, Boss Brain. I will tell you, comment. You. If you don't comment, I'll delete it. Mm, I'm joking. <laughs> so, so after the vocal transformer now. <laughs> so, like the reverb. You understand? Basic reverb settings. When you open the Platinum reverb, you might not be using Logic Pro 9, but any reverb does the work. You don't really... Like... So. So, I have um, auto filter as well. This is on default. I did not tweak anything. You understand? To give it that filterish something again. You understand? We are rolling on one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh plugin now on this effect. And they might as well just use one plugin that just, you know, we don't know, but we are just, you know, experimenting so that we can get close to what they add. You get? So. See the difference? So it gives us that covering. So and I add another EQ again. You know, this one just, you know, low and the high. So brightness again. This is from this might not be needed. I just put it just I'm just checking. You understand? This might not be needed. I just, you know, put it there. One knob brighter, I added that as well. So as you understand. So I know their own maybe like you know, sort of like a pitch um modulation or something like pitch blend bend. You understand? It makes it sound nicer. You understand? So basically we we add something close to what they have. Don't lie. We pass that beat. So you can use this thing. Maybe on your beat, if you just get to... You can do your own, you understand? This is why, you know, one music inspired another. So you collect inspiration from this one. Use it on another song. I, if I, I can do it anyway, you understand? But I just want to inspire you, motivate you. Don't feel down. You can do better. Why production says so. So see now, by the time we play two of them together, they will be on the same wavelength. Oh, okay. I did not record this on the on the metronome. Maybe this one would work. Because this one, I previously recorded it on the metronome. Okay, see? Let me open up the... Let me open up the effect here. Yeah. <clears throat> Ah, sorry, let's not forget. I had a boss here, chorus effect on default, and flanger on default as well. So, you know, you know, I just, you know, send it minus 20, you understand, just a little bit. They are not really doing much, but all those little, little stuff, you understand, it? all those little, little stuff, they adds up to something you get. So, even this just like, like a tempo, you can take it from where I stop and take it to the next level. I can just, in case for learning purposes, I can just, you know, screenshot each parameter, each plugin with its parameter so that you can, you know, use it on your own door. Because you might not have the same pitch correction. You might be using FS Studio Cubase or anything. So you just set it, EQ, just check the settings of the parameter, the compressor, everything. You understand? You can use it. With any plugin, you know these things now. We have different companies that create these brands, but the parameters are always the same. You understand? Over production. Hello, Fabian. How far now? How far? Okay. So, Fabian, Fabian is around. We want to create madness today. <laughs> so, see how it's sounding. See. These both of them together, my own and their own. No. You understand now? Oh, I production. I make it quite make it nice. So let's cut it short. Oh, I make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Oh, I productions. I give you value every now and then. Every time I come, I come with a bank, something that will help you. Not just me, you know, coming and just saying I want to make videos just for making video sake. 
whenever I'm making video, I think about the next person. Next person that, you know, what would they gain from me making this video? How would this video improve their life? You understand? That's one of the most important things when I'm creating all these things. And I believe that somebody will use this thing, you know, this effect, and just create beat or create madness, you understand? Shout out to you. Bless you. Stay safe. Stay stay blessed. <laughs> Take it away. On to the next time.